Watch me as I make this. Okay, kind of addicted. They're super fun, super easy. Hang on. Okay. So, one last smashy smash because, well, I got a lot of colors. So, got to use them up. And, hmm. All right, if you're new to the um, doing smash paintings with resin, Give your boards a good coat of a clear or a um, colored resin, doesn't matter. Um, and have two boards. So that's what we're doing here. And then we're gonna make a puddle pour. Bring the two boards together and then separate them. Now it gets tricky because resin We'll build up a pretty good suction, and you have to put a little muscle into it for spreading them apart. So things are gonna get interesting. All right, so we're gonna do a kitchen sink puddle pour. And by what I mean by that is I've got a few colors left over here and well, we're gonna throw everything at it. So the first thing I do is I put a little bit of the stone coat base tint on the board and that allows some cell development. I'm not gonna do so much this time. I'm just gonna do a little bit. At least I think that's a little bit. A little bit of metallic, but I put a little bit of the stone coat on both boards so that way both of them can get some cell action. And then I'm just going to start building up colors. So let's see now. Hmm. So I've got some blues and some fluorescents. This one's a transparent blue, which is really pretty. Fluorescent violet. Violet. I think I said violent. Didn't mean violent, violet. And then a nice pink there. Okay, I'm gonna do a little extra of the pink because I like it. This is some interference color. Or shimmer, I should say. Brilliant. Getting towards the end of my working stage, so I'm kind of hustling a little bit. I'm gonna do just a little bit of gold, or silver. Just a little bit. All right, I got everything in there? I think so. Okay, kitchen sink happening. So here's the magic. That was not it. Turn the board over. Make good contact, a little squishy. And I'm trying to think of how I wanna do this. I think I'm gonna try and open it up like that. I'm getting my fingernail in between so I can pry them apart. Ooh, okay. Let's see if I can tilt it just a little bit so it makes contact with the edge here. Just a little bit. Okay. That's really pretty. And here's the other one. All right, I'm gonna put this one on my cookie sheet because I don't want it to be on the board right now or at the table. I can't talk. Today I'm all tongue tied. I am sorry. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of heat. Too. Now 
Now these guys will continue to do their magic as they cure. So there may be some cell development in here because of the stone coat. There's already some coming up. And maybe in here, we'll have to find out. Let me put these over here and I will bring you in for a close up. This was, this is a really quick and easy technique to do. A good beginner technique, especially if you're not confident with colors, because this is a way for the colors to do all the magic for you. All right, now all the sticky's taken care of, I can bring you in. Hang on. All right, so these are the two together. And they're not meant to always go together. It's just sometimes it's easy. Easier to set it up as a pair. This one's gonna be really interesting. I'm kind of really excited about this guy. Are you focusing? Yeah, there we go. There's a little bit of blinging going on there, the sparkle, but the blends are really pretty. So a little bit of silver sparkle on this guy. This one's got all the sparkle business going on. Would you believe this piece is only a six by six painting? I mean, all right, focus. Seriously, that's my hand. It's not that big. Okay, until tomorrow, let's see what develops. Later. All right, here's next day with these two. They turned out really cool. Very different. Same type of colors. This one most likely was the top one. A lot of cool details though. And like I said, this is only a six by six. Really cool cells here. And then this one got most of the color. Blah, blah, blah. Most of the color. There we go. Got my words out. Uh, most of the glitter, too. What is that? Do I got little bitty bubbles in here? Where's the teeny weeny cells? I may have to go in and look, check that out. So, pretty cool. Look at this sparkle.